Hello everybody. Welcome back. Some days here. I'm Daryl. And I'm Kim. And this is Princess P. Hey, if you're a regular subscriber and hopefully you got notified, uh, thanks for coming back. If, uh, if you've never been here before, thanks uh, for tuning in. And if you got a moment, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Uh, our last episode, we gave you the walkthrough of the 2011 Landmark uh, San Antonio version of the uh, Heartland. Kim had redone uh, all the interior. We got a lot of great comments on it. If you haven't seen it, please go check out uh, a couple videos ago. And uh, it came out really good, and we're excited. Uh, we really enjoy that that uh, RV. Uh, just want to bring everybody up to speed where we're at. There's been a lot of questions uh, over the last year. Uh, we were going to do this. We we're going to do that. And <laughs> We've now been we're all over the place. And now we're doing this. So this is the way we live. We like to go here. We like to go there. We our lifestyle is where we can just stop what we're doing and go do something else. Uh, we're fortunate that we have that flexibility. Uh, for some of you people that uh, tuned in to our episodes with the. Uh, 1987 Jefferson um, trawler that we had. Uh, we have sold that. Uh, we're no longer uh, in the boat uh, travel business. Uh, we enjoyed it for what time we had it, but there was a gentleman who wanted it more than we did, and actually he's out cruising around the coast of uh, Florida, really enjoying the boat. So we have decided that we're going to stay with the RV for a few more years because that's what our goals are, why we still get around, we're all in good health. Um, so the boat's no longer with us, but if you still have any questions about the boat and uh, what we did and how we changed things up and did the repairs, I got one the other day, I was happy to email uh, the gentleman back and let him know. But uh, we're going on forward with the RVs. Uh, what did we do this summer? We spent a great summer in the Northwest in mm -hmm. Washington State with Daryl's family, my family also. That's right. Uh, but uh, right on the border of Idaho and uh, Washington State, uh, right above Coeur d'Alene, uh, Spokane <coughs> area. Uh, my sister's got some property up there and, and my fantastic cousin has some property right next door that they purchased. So we took uh, Maddie up there, it's what we call our uh, Heartland Landmark. Uh, fifth wheel and we parked it there for the summer yeah, they were kind enough to let us park it and we do appreciate property. it very much so we had a great summer up there with family uh, up there really enjoyed it the temperatures were fantastic I mean the average highs was in the 80s this year and the lows were in the upper 50s and 60s for almost all summer no sweating yeah. no humidity unlike we know wonderful. the rest of the area uh, it was hot so that's why we enjoy the Northwest we just love to go up there for the summertime to get out of the heat because uh, it's been time with family as you know we're uh, from louisiana and i'm just about had enough of the high humidities and, and high heat it's hot there <laughs> so and princess likes the old cool weather too huh babe so that's what we decided to do this summer so kim and i are sitting here thinking we got a, a beautiful rig up there it's long uh, we've done a lot of the national parks. Uh, it's tough to get this big rig into a lot of the national parks and state parks. and mm -hmm. It's tough to boondock with it. Not that it can't be done because we did it for almost three years. Right. And, but even getting into Walmarts and stuff, it's tricky. you got to pay attention. So we thought, well, since uh, uh, we've got this opportunity, maybe we should take a year and find something that's smaller go to these areas that we had to drive by because we couldn't get in and get a smaller rig so that's going to be our next adventure in this next season coming up we're going to go out and we're going in search of a smaller rv what size do you think we ought to get what about kind? 30 30 30 feet that's about what we hear yeah. 35 feet is usually the max you can get into a lot of the state parks and uh like in the smokies you can't be anything over 35 to get inside the park in the campgrounds so we're going to go look anywhere from 26 to 35. It's, it's going to be a little bit Max of a... Max 35. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a... Challenge. Challenge, because <laughs> we're used to having a whole bunch with four slides. So, and luxuries. <laughs> so we're going to go out in search of and we are going to go find a smaller rig. Uh, Kim and I have decided we'll go get it. 
we'll get it in tip-top shape, we'll redo the inside to our liking, and we'll spend the whole uh, winter months starting probably in September or October, head east and try to go towards uh, the Atlantic Ocean and see what we can find going up on the top way all the way down the east coast and come around the bottom of Florida and head back to Louisiana for probably uh, Thanksgiving and maybe even Christmas. Uh, get to see uh, Oz Kim and my family back there. So that's our goal. That's what we're attempting to do. We hope you will come along with us. Uh, we've already shot some videos. This is not an actual time right now. We're in some location that we can't disclose. <laughs> But we have been uh, doing a bunch of videos and touring, so there's going to be a bunch of them coming up here. Hopefully, I can get three out a week. We got a lot of good filming. Beautiful uh, places. Yeah, we may even go up into Canada. So uh, we just want to get everything caught up to speed. Now that I have the time, that I'm um, retired, summer's over. We're, we have enjoyed the families. Just Kim and I, and we can slow it down a little bit and take the time and do the editing. So we hope you come along with this adventure. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Anybody can do this. We're going to go show you. Just go out shopping. You don't have to buy a sixty, a hundred thousand, a twenty thousand dollar rig. We're going to go try to find one for ten thousand dollars or less. May even get one for three thousand. Just depends on the shape and what kind it is and how much energy we want to put into it. And money. Yep. But the maximum cost will not be over ten thousand uh, dollars, no matter well, what we uh, do. Uh, yeah, I hope not. But if we find a jewel. Fantastic, but you have to remember you go out and find something brand new 20 years old 30 years old Doesn't mean that everything in there is going to work. It could work right now and go out tomorrow So that right. doesn't bother us. We can replace stuff. It, we've done it before. It's, it's not scary to us so. No. so we'll get it looking good. So we hope you come along. We hope uh, uh, There's a lot of great YouTube channels out there that are doing with RVs And we hope that if you go back and look at some of our past ones, we've been to a lot of places Arches, yeah. Zion, Yellowstone, Tetons, Smokies. I mean, I can rattle them off and on. I'll be a name dropper. <laughs> but we're going to do a lot of that this year. So we hope that you, uh, again, subscribe and hit the uh, notification button. And if you're into redoing RVs or think you want to redo yours, hey, we'll show you some tricks. Don't be, be afraid done. to do it. That's right. So having said that, we're going to keep this video short. Princess P needs to eat. <laughs> and uh, all we can say is... Stop the madness. And start the adventure, guys. Hey, thanks for coming along. See you soon. Bye now. Bye.